Good morning, everybody. My name is Commissioner Charlie Justice, and I am proud on behalf of the Pinellas County Commission to welcome you to this very special ceremony today. A couple of weeks ago, the St. Pete Tampa Bay Times ran a series of articles about names that we recognize every day in our community, the Howard Franklin Bridge, uh, Peter Demon's Landing, John Chestnut Park, uh, now Bill Heller Hall at USF St. Pete. And I thought it was really important that the next generation of Pinellas residents, of Floridians, recognize those folks who've come before us who've had such an impact. Peter Demons had a huge impact on the city of St. Petersburg. John Chestnut had an impact on Clearwater in Pinellas County. And today, we are especially proud to recognize Commissioner John Maroney, who had an impact on Pinellas County and first responders. As we begin our program, I'd like to recognize some special guests. So uh, this will take about an hour. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize Eileen and John, uh, Michael Maroney, who are with us today. Thank you so much for being here. I want to recognize my fellow county commissioners, Chair Pat Gerard, <laughs> Vice Chair Dave Eggers, Commissioners Janet Long, Karen Seal, Kathleen Peters, and Ken Welch. We're also joined by Barry Burton, County Administrator, Jewel White, County Attorney, our Sheriff Bob Gualtari, we're also very pleased so many of our mayors showed up today. Mayor Rick Christman, City of St. Petersburg. Clearwater Mayor George Criticus. Tarpon Springs Mayor Chris Alahousis. Treasure Island Mayor Lawrence Dunn. City of St. Pete Beach Mayor Alan Johnson. City Commissioners from Largo, Samantha Fenger. Dunneed and Jeff Gow. Thank you, Jeff. Bel Air Bluff, Susie Sofer. We have from St. Petersburg College, Provost Mark Strickland. Thank you, Mark. From the Office of State Representative Ben Diamond, Sarah Goldman. From Office of State Representative Wenge Newton, Sam Jenkins. From the Office of State Representative Chris Lavella, Rachel Good. From the office of U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, Brian Wright. We have Chief Tom Jamison in East Lake Fire District. Chief Heather Burford, City of Seminole. Chief Doug Zimmerman, City of, City of Palm Harbor, Area of Palm Harbor. Chief Robert Engel. Chief Scott Young. Lelman Chief Rick Graham. St. Pete Chief Ian Womack, Pinellas Suncoast District Chief Mike Burton, Treasure Island Chief Trip Bars, Commissioners Julie Peluso and Casey Kane of Palm Harbor, Clearwater Chief Dan Slaughter, Bel Air Chief Rick Doyle, Chief Administrative Officer of Stunstar John Peterson. Any other first responders, if you would stand and be recognized, we appreciate you being here as well. And then if I could get all Pinellas County employees to stand or wave and be recognized, we appreciate your service. If you would uh, please rise, Commissioner Eggers is going to come and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and an invocation. Good morning. Let's, uh, let's go to uh, our own God in prayer this morning, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning and for this special place alongside this road where north and south counties meet just a little west of center close to John's home. We are so blessed to live in this county to serve our residents and this morning to celebrate one of our own John Maroney. Also be with all of our first responders as they do their jobs every day in protecting all of us. We pray that you continue to stay close to Eileen, Michael, and Austin as they do their best to live happy and full lives the way John tried to live every day. 
May they have peace and comfort knowing that John is with you without pain and in a really good place. You have asked us to love you, to love others, and to do for the least of us. Our brother John embodied that spirit and we thank you today that he touched each one of our lives in some personal and loving way. We thank you for this special day that allows us to forever recognize his public service to the residents of Pinellas County. May his impact always be remembered from the simplest of his works to the hours and hours of meetings upon meetings with constituents. He would drop anything, anytime to help. Finally be with us this morning and let John's spirit come down and be with us as we pay tribute to a husband, father, pet owner, friend, colleague, and public servant. May this tribute for John's passion for first responders be pleasing in your eyes. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Where is the flag? Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Fisher. And now we're going to hear from a few speakers with remarks on, uh, on Commissioner Maroney. And first up is our chair, Pat Gerard. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. This is, I am honored to be part of this celebration dedicating this building behind us uh, to our late friend and colleague, John Maroney. Born in Chicago, John moved to Pinellas County in 1980 and served on the County Commission from 2000 to 2018. It seems like he'd always been there. Um, he chaired the board in 2005, 2012, and 2015. He also served before that eight years in the Florida Legislature in the House of Representatives. Through many years of service, John was a dedicated public servant. He served on dozens of boards and led the charge on many issues in our community. While Commissioner Maroney was a people person, and it's really hard to forget that smile that he always had on his face, who loved everyone, he had a place in his heart and truly admired our first responders. And that is why we have an annual dinner for the 26th year this year. Uh, well, it used to be a lunch. And thank you to Commissioner Long for taking that over in his place. Um, that is why we're honored to rename this facility in his name. We know that he'd be very proud. Thank you. Oh. And next up is Commissioner Eggers again. Uh, good morning again. Um, yeah, I was driving down here this morning and I I was on the phone with a former mayor of Oldsmar. We were just talking about a bunch of different things and told him where I was going. And he just said, you know, and, I, and I, this is how I feel too. He said, just what a special, special guy. You know, he always made you feel like, you know, he was probably your best friend. Now, I know I wasn't his best friend, but I know he always came up and, you know, he put, he'd shake, his, shake your hand and he'd say, uh, we were talking about this the other day, he'd look right at you and say, hi, buddy. How are you today? And, um, you know, it's just, he always had just a kind heart. It was always good to be on his good side. Um, not, that, not, John, not that John had any bad sides at all. But um, I do miss him every day. He's just a really good friend, a really good mentor. When I was starting to think about running for, uh, for, this, for this office, John was right there just counseling me and talking to me and just, you know, Jer just sharing what he had been through. Um, but he just, he absolutely loved the first responder meal and doing all of the folks, all of the effort for all of you um, every day. It, it meant so much to him. And I, I just, you know, I'm so glad that we're here today just to honor a really good guy, a really good man who did so much for others. And um, Eileen and Michael, uh, God bless you. We think about you all the time. You're in our heart, in our prayers. Thank you. Kathleen? morning. I didn't have the chance to work with John on the commission, um, but John and I, whenever we get together, we'd always talk about the House of Representatives because that's where I was and that's where he was before that. So um, John had an incredible passion, but 
What I always remember the most is how much he loved his family. John truly did adore his son and his wife, and, and I'm so sorry that you miss you, but I'll tell you, we all love you too. Um, so it's just very good to be here, and it's such a, a tribute, an appropriate tribute to give to John. I can't think of a better way to honor him and the work that he did. So thank you, and thank you for coming. We truly appreciate it. And for our first responders, thank you for everything that you do every single day. Thank you from my heart. Good morning, everyone. So I could literally write a book about the funny things that have happened to me with John Maroney and how much he enjoyed either teasing me or playing jokes on me. So when I first met John, he was a waiter in Spoto's restaurant, and he delighted in telling me that someday he was going to be an elected official. And man, was he ever a, a true public servant from his very heart. So even when we both ended on, up on the county commission together, he delighted in either teasing me, playing jokes on me, or telling me what to do. And so <laughs> imagine my surprise when one day he comes in and says, we have to talk. I couldn't imagine what I had just done. But he sat down and started talking about how much he appreciated that I had gone along with my family to every single, it, used, it started out as a dinner at the Sheraton Sandkey, and he probably had between 25 and 30 people there. And look what it has morphed into today. So I'm very proud to have taken that over on behalf of John. And I also want you all to know that it has been a true labor of love to just really work hard and see what we could do to raise the bar for that dinner, which, oh, by the way, in case you don't know, is this Saturday night. We were sold out for the second year in a row. I'm so proud of that. So please come, enjoy yourself, and remember the whole purpose of why we're there is to honor and to thank our first responders, our law enforcement community, and all that they do for us every single day. Thank you. Everyone has been so eloquent, so it's hard to follow all of those special remarks. <clears throat> I think, in my opinion, John was irreplaceable. He had a smile, and he had a special light about him. His personality was so engaging. Um, I was proud to serve with him for 18 years on the county commission, and still to this day can't believe he's gone. I mean, he truly was special. And as I already mentioned, he dearly loved Eileen and Michael. He would come and tell us stories about you, Michael. <laughs> and they were always good stories, though. Um, so anyway, we still hold him dearly in our hearts. We recognize his passion for the first responders, as is our passion. Um, you serve us every day. But again, he's an irreplaceable, special light that um, we will always remember, and we are so happy to be paying tribute to him today. Thank you. Good morning. So as John was famously quoted one time, this is a bit of a shockeroo. Uh, I'm dating myself, but he did that. Google it, shockeroo. Uh, I've been out of the loop. I'm Ken Welsh, County Commissioner, District 7. Uh, I've been out of the loop a couple of weeks now, so it's a shockeroo that we're all speaking today. Um, so I just wanted to say uh, a couple of things, and thank you, Commissioner Justice, for this, this fitting tribute. Uh, John and I um, both came on the commission the same time in 2000, uh, and Eileen, you know, he would often introduce me as his brother from another mother. Um, and I just think about purpose. You know, we all have a God-given purpose. And I think what John has left us all with is really a definition of what being a public servant is really all about. Um, all the madness and division that we see in our nation right now, uh, John was not about any of that. 
Uh, I was black, he's, he was white, I'm a Democrat, he was a Republican. It was all about what's best for this community. And that's why this is the most fitting tribute that we can make, that as folks pass this building, they remember what public service is really about. And that was John Maroney. We love him, uh, we thank him for his commitment and for his legacy this, to this community. God bless you. And it's not only that Commissioner Maroney had a love of our public servants and our first responders, and it wasn't just showing in a dinner or a tribute every year. He put the substance behind uh, the work that he did, and he sponsored legislation in memory of Officer Jeffrey Tackett, who was shot and killed in the line of duty in 1993 when he responded to a call alone. Maroney was in the legislature at the time, and he co-sponsored the Tackett Bill with Senator Dennis Jones, if you remember Senator Jones. The bill requires two officers to be on duty at all times so that law enforcement officers do not respond to calls alone and they won't be in that same situation. So Commissioner Maroney, Representative Maroney, led the way with policy as well as public tributes. As uh, Commissioner Long reminded you, the event is this Saturday evening and we invite you to join us all that night. I'd now like to invite Chief Tom Jameson uh, to the podium for some remarks. Good morning. While our fine public servants have been giving their accolades to John, I've been scratching through my speech because I don't want to be redundant. But well said, and good morning. Thank you for doing this for John. This building has special meaning to me. I started my career here in EMS in 1992. The building was built in 1991. And I, I can think of no other person who has been such a, a friend and benefactor to EMS than John Maroney to name this building after. Eileen, Michael, thank you for sharing your father. He was, as we have talked about, public service, and those of us that are public servants, John was a little bit more than just a public servant. John was a servant leader, and as a servant leader, that is a philosophy that says that their main goal as a leader is to serve, and I think John absolutely embodied that in everything that he did. Uh, Brian Loak uh, worked with him for a long time and I, Brian, I told you I was gonna uh, cut and paste some of the things that you said about John because you knew him very well. And some of the comments that John had put down at his memorial service were that John told him, listen to everyone. Don't dismiss people because you never know who's gonna have advice or help for you down the road. And that really was John. When, when you were with John, when you were in front of John, you knew that for that moment in time, you had his undivided attention. And you knew that his mind wasn't quite made up yet until he had all the information and facts to make his mind up. And I had a great appreciation for that. When his memorial service took place and, and it was posted and people put comments up, some of the comments that were there were neighbor, friend, gracious, giving, and an, ex an example of the best that we can be. And that's the legacy that John leaves behind. And it's great to see that all the people that drive by this road every day will see his name on the building representing a critical part of public safety for everyone to see, for the commissioners to support. Totally fitting. God bless you, John. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I'd now like to invite John Peterson from Sunstar to come make some remarks. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Commissioner. I met Commissioner Maroney for the first time at his First Responders Awards dinner in 2010 when I was the newly promoted Director of Operations here at Sunstar Paramedics. It was just a quick meet and greet, and I really didn't know much about John at that time. I just knew that I appreciated someone at his level taking the time to recognize us first responders. In 2011, the awards dinner occurred just days after two St. Petersburg police officers were killed in the line of duty. I was the EMS transport officer on that call and the emotions were still very raw. John did an amazing job of honoring the fallen, fallen officers while continuing to champion the cause of supporting all first responders. 
That dinner was probably the most emotional I have attended, and I am sure that all of those in attendance remember the respect that John showed for the fallen officers and their families that night. I know I will never forget it. In 2012, John was in the midst of cancer treatment, but he insisted on emceeing the event anyway. It was my turn at the podium, and I was presenting the award to our Sunstar honoree when I saw John collapse. I instinctively ran to him to render aid, and I was very concerned when I first saw him. But when he came to, I remember him having quite the sense of humor about this situation, which I admired. I rode with him to the hospital in the ambulance, and it was during that time that we formed a bond and a friendship. From that point on, any time I ever saw John, I was immediately greeted with a smile and a big hug. As I got to know him a little better, I realized right away what a compassionate and passionate person he was. His compassion is proven through his continuous philanthropy and the respect that he showed us as first responders. His passion is proved through his drive to make every elected official and citizen in Pinellas County aware of the amazing work that our first responders do in this community every day. In 2013, John was kind enough to recognize me with an award. On the award, and in continuation with his sense of humor, he wrote, with sincere and grateful appreciation for taking care of me the night I decided to pass out in front of 550 people in Pinellas County. I've always appreciated that comment, and I'm very appreciative of his kindness and the fact that he chose to recognize me. I keep referring to the annual first responder dinner event because it is my way of remembering John. When I think about the event, I see John. I can hear his laughter, see his joy in doing something that he loved so much, and I can feel his compassion and his passion. The fact that the event lives on means a lot to me, and so I'd like to thank Commissioner Long and Sheriff Gualteri for continuing that tradition. Thank you. I can't think of a better person to honor with this building dedication. I feel blessed to have known John, and I hope that I continue to make him proud every day as I walk through these doors serving this community. Thank you. If you would, welcome Eileen Maroney to the podium. I really wasn't expecting to get so emotional today. <laughs> this is just so overwhelming and such a wonderful tribute to John. <clears throat> Mike and I would like to thank everyone that's here today. We are so grateful for the, to County Com Administrator Barry Burton and to the Board of County Commissioners. John loves serving on the County Commission every single day and he truly loved his colleagues there thank you commissioners we'd like to thank brian lowack who is always front and center when it comes to anything involving john and we wish the very best to everyone that works inside the four walls of the john maroney ems and fire administration center and we pray for the well-being and safety of every single one of Pinellas County's first responders. Thank you. Just yeah. <laughs> wanted to say thank you, and uh, I know how touched he would be at this. And uh, thanks for making it a special day. I saw someone this morning, they said uh, they had their handkerchiefs ready, and I said, uh, no, today is a happy day. Today is a happy day. It's all happy tears today for the celebration that we're here for. And Commissioner Eggers, you, uh, 
you brought up my favorite memory of Commissioner Maroney is uh, no matter where you were, whether it was a formal black tie event or at a, a Tampa Bay Lightning game, hey buddy, hey buddy. And it, it wasn't in a fake way, it was genuine reaching out in friendship and support. And so I'd encourage you as you go about your day to day and you're thinking about Commissioner Maroney and you see someone, walk up to him and say, hey buddy. Now I'd like to invite all of you to join us in officially renaming this building the John Maroney EMS and Fire Administration Center. And I'd like to invite the County Commissioners, Chief Jameson, Mr. Peterson, and the Maroney family to join me in front of the building, in front of the plaque, to unveil uh, commemorating this dedication. After we do that, there will be refreshments in the conference room inside the building. Commissioners, speakers, Maroney family. Thank you very much for joining us today.